Hey. Hello there, everybody. I'm just hanging out here at the airport. <laughs> Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. I'm the Missing Sock. And, uh, yeah, I'm just hanging out in my, uh, my private jet here. <laughs> Some of my blingy toys out. Practical, yet rich. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Take off my sunglasses here for a moment. All right, so let's have a scar. Yeah, so I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking uh, we should get ourselves um, a new blingy vehicle. One of the new vehicles, the XA21. So we've talked about it a few times in the last couple episodes. Then today's the day I'm going to get one. Oh, has he got the hang of it now? He does. No, hack, hack. All right, maybe that's a better one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Much better. All right. So, uh, yeah, last week they brought out the XA-21, and now they're on to the Ardent. But uh, the XA-21, I'm quite interested in. We're going to have a look at that. It's uh, 2,375,000, so it makes it one of the, uh, the, I think it's actually to date, as of now, the most expensive regular type of car in the game. So it is a supercar, but it's, you know, there is things like the Ruiner 2000 that are more expensive, for example. But they're not what I would call a regular car. You can't use them in regular races, things like that, right? So I think that the uh, the XA21 is one of, or if not the most expensive regular car. Yeah. So let's order that up. All right. So you find legendary motorsport. You guys might want to wait on a sale, possibly. <laughs> on that note. All right. The Ocelot XA21 fits too. Part of gun running, even though it has no weapons or anything like that. Okay. XA21. To those who argue that the supercar is dead and hybrid tech was only a fad, the XA21 would like a word as soon as it's done banging your mom. <laughs> when you're done saying thank you, it'll show you the kind of annihilating performance that can only be achieved by locking a team of world-class engineers in a lab for six months, lacing their food with amphetamines. And lacing their food with amphetamines. <laughs> this is the cutting edge, and you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, I remember reading that one for our news. That's a, yeah, I like some of the descriptions. Very funny. All right, so there she is. She looks nice. Very blingy. All right, so a lot of people are pretty happy with it. I think the only real complaint I've heard, other than the price tag, I suppose, is this white trim that you guys can see right in here, okay? So we don't even have to wait to get it to see that. There's white trim in there, and uh, it looks sharp, looks nice. Maybe that's the way the Rockstar wanted it. But uh, a lot of people think that you should be able to change it, and uh, for those that uh, unlock these things with mods and single player and stuff like that, um, they do find that there is an option in there. So it's like Rockstar has just simply not given us the choice to be able to change that, that background. So they might maybe it's a bug and they'll, they might fix it or maybe it's the way it's supposed to be and it'll stay that way it's always hard to say with rockstar but other than that it's been pretty um pretty uh, uh positive reviews on it yeah so let's see well i'm not really sure on the color yet i've been thinking about a few different choices but maybe we'll order it in white just to see what it looks like in white i was kind of curious what this one might look uh look like in a white I've seen plenty of people with the silvers and the uh the the blacks and the reds and uh yeah yeah i've seen a couple greens even actually well let's order all right, so we're going to order this as we usually do. This is almost tradition now. Del Paro Heights, apartment 20, our first place. Sold. All right, there goes $2.3 million and 75000 so almost $2.4 million. Cha-ching, ouch. Yeah, and we're down to 2.4. <laughs> All right, well, which is good. We had to build it up just to be able to buy this one. Excellent. All right, let's hop out of here. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. So let's uh, go over there to Del Perro and uh, pick it up. Yep, should be good. Yeah. I'm in my styling, my styling sock outfit. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta look the part, right? <laughs> Why not? There we go. Head inside. Dude, Should be probably arriving any moment now. All right. That yeah, Ocelot XA21. So I'll probably put some links in the description as I did in the uh, news one. There it is. Yeah. Your new white XA21 is now confirmed. I would say I'm confirming it. it actually, looks pretty sharp in white, doesn't it? Yeah. I like that. I don't know if I'll keep that or not but it's uh it's very bright 
but at the same time it's dark with all the black highlights against it and of course the white just matches the the white trim that we were talking about earlier hmm I don't know I might have to think about that that's tempting to even keep it like that awesome so I like that so far guys okay so a couple little notes um, it's got these stock tires there that you guys can see right there okay and they have the little colored inlet Okay, a little white part in the middle there, the center. Okay, and so you can uh, keep those. Uh, they change color with your uh, color car choice. So if you change your primary car, I believe that changes with it. Okay, and um, yeah, those are stock choices though. So if you want to keep them, you want to keep the stock choice. Now for those that don't mind doing this, it gets a little complicated, but there is the iFruit app that, um, that we've talked about before. And you can apparently go in and change some of the uh, color of this. So what you would do is you would actually get custom tires on these. Okay, and then you would color them, and then you would go out of out of that again, and you'd go into the iFruit app and order stock tires in a color. Okay, now unfortunately it doesn't fully work, so you get this weird colors in between the bars around the outsides. But some people like that a little added detail, and then uh, you've got stock tires with a little different detail than some other people have. I don't think I'm going to bother with that, but um, but I thought I'd let you guys know now for those that are interested in those kinds of things. Okay. And the iFruit app, I don't know why Rockstar makes it like that. I really don't. I don't know why they just don't open up the options in the game. Oh, it's got a nice hum. Yep, central exhaust. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Stick around. All right. She just hums right along. Oh, just that purr. You hear that purr? Percy, what do you want, Percy? What? Juicing is for winners, no, friend. No, no, so what's wrong with it's you? It's not for winners, Percy. I've told you before. It's not for winners. <laughs> not interested in Juicy's, in Percy's juice. <laughs> uh, but he won't leave me alone. Change numbers all the time. He finds them. I just, I don't know. I love this view when it gives you that view. It's like, uh, I think they call that a tilt shift kind of view. It's awesome. Wish I could get it more often in the cinematic and have it do it on purpose. So, a lot of times when you guys, uh, well, all the time when you guys see me doing that, it's not director's mode, it's just cinematic camera. But director's mode is much nicer. You can pick what you want, but of course, you can't play it at the same time, right? Exactly. I like just going into cinematic. And then it's a bit of a challenge. <laughs> Anyway, so see the automatic spoiler on the back there? That is awesome. It just comes right out so easily. So if you guys look, it has the ocelot right there at the back, right just above the, uh, um, the exhaust. And that's just going to pop right out on us as we start gaining speed. There it is. It's got a little hum to it when it comes out. Okay, when I brake, it should air brake. Let's see. Yep, see it flipping away there? So that's kind of it helping me brake. Hear that crackle? Yeah, I really like that, guys. I, I'm happy with that. And I hope that better be. Oh, yeah, hear that? <laughs> yeah. But for $2.4 million stock, that's uh, that's good that you're ha that I'm happy with it. You know, it's always happy. It's always sad to be disappointed. But so far, I like that engine sound. It sounds fairly unique. I'm not sure if it's based on another car, but it sounds unique to me. And yet it sounds different. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but it sounds like a different type of engine. Yeah, that rattle and everything. It doesn't sound like um, like a lot of the other ones I have. You know, it's hard to make them sound different and yet still sound fast and muscly. And, you know, I'd say they achieved it with this one. I like all that crackles and the purr it's got. It's different than a muscle car purr. It's just kind of a purr. <laughs> so now I get carried away. Let's see the spins. Yeah, a little bit. I like when it got some play. In the office. Um, I have to think for a second here. That's garage one. So I think that's sharp in the white. I do like that. But of course, uh, that's the hardest part about these cars. Is they look so good in so many colors. All right. So there's our little our Ferrari collection there. Our Wagner over there in the corner. Some others upstairs. All right. Yeah, very nice. I'm happy with that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's dig it into our mod shop and have a look. What are we doing today? We are upgrading this dramatically. What are you after? Mm, everything. So armor for fifty thousand. Brakes for thirty-five thousand. So apparently it's not cheap, but I didn't expect it to be with a supercar, right? Uh, bumpers, we're gonna get into that in a second. Engines, okay, so we got lots of engine options. Exhaust, lots of options, lots of options. Good, good, good. Sometimes I go through and I get the easy ones out of the way with first, you know, like headlights, you know, lights. There it is. Um, but this one actually has a lot, so we might actually go through that. Do that all. You've got an eye for this stuff. Change my license plate. Hold on, I change it again. Yeah, lots of options, eh? Lots, lots. So, bumpers, front bumpers. Primary painted. Secondary no painted. Maybe I should check out my resprays too. Let's, um, sorry, we'll go back and forth on you guys here, but just gonna go into respray and check out. Yeah, I was hoping for that. So, we do have a primary, secondary, and a trim. And this is not the trim that I was talking about, that white trim. I should probably take off my glasses, but. But you guys can see it's the other trim in here. It's not the secondary trim, it's the primary trim. Okay. Do you need a drink? see it better from here. Bubbles so that white something? that we were talking about still remains. But that's okay. You know. He's out of it. And the crew up. Okay, so we've got some good options in there. To figure out a pearlescence, perhaps. Don't think I'm going to do the matte pearlescence on this one. Necessarily. Whatever you desire. Technology and budget permitted. So I'm just changing it for green for a second. I just want to see what is the secondary color. So we've got the handles on there. That's kind of cool. And the uh, the fins on the sides there. And uh, the engine back here as well. You can see some highlights there. And then we're going to see some more on these extra parts on the bumper, I think. And the, uh, the uh, like uh, rear bumper as well. Okay, so not a big color for the secondary. Right now it looks like it's just a black. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna leave that alone for now. I just wanted to see, you know, because some of these cars have uh, uh, more colors than that. Sometimes they have a three, uh, third color, um, different options like that, so. Back to our bumpers. Carbon extended. You can think it, so we have the I primary and secondary and then the carbon. And sport splitter. Primary and race, secondary race. So do we want it to be a race or sport? Yeah. So just a regular, just a slight increase. Really, it's not really a big difference, right? But that race does give it the race look. How many cars you got in this garage again? It looks like that secondary option. Like it looks like this is carbon, no matter whether you like it or not, there's no way to get that painted. Hmm. Oh, I think I'm going to go with the secondary race actually. Kind of like the black on the white, offsetting it, and it matches the carbon a little bit better with the black. Rear diffuser. Okay, cool. So it just gets rid of that whole assembly there. So remove, remove diffuser. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> just had some coffee. Uh, didn't want to say that. Remove diffuser. There we go. Secondary painted lip diffuser. Making decisions is stressful. Pass through diffuser. That's cool. Control diffuser. Open focus diffuser. And GT focus diffuser. Ah, oh, that's very finny. Lots of shine too. I do like that uh, control and open. But the uh, the GT is nice. But when you're on the control, it kind of brings up your, your tires a little bit. Like you can see your tires easier. No rush at all. Oh, I think I kind of like that, that uh, control. I like that it's it gives me a little bit more room underneath the car for some reason. I'm going to go with that. Engine. Engine dunes, nice and easy. Level 4, 33,500. Yeah, that's the stuff. Engine block. Alright, 
ocelot right on there. That's cool. Okay. Now what's the engine cover? Oh, that's the outside. Can I make the spoiler? Yeah, okay. Cool. Well, that's kind of a different combination this time around. Okay, well, let's go back and engine block. Oh, yeah. Lots of options. So if you guys notice, uh, they go through V12s and V8 options. Race tuned V8. Yeah, I think that would mean that this is a regular V8. I would imagine V6. But yeah, these don't affect your performance at all. They're just simply looks. Let's have a look at which one looks, in my opinion, the best. I think they all look good, actually. They really look nice. I wish they gave you more choices like this on all the cars. It's very Benny's like, actually. You know? I kind of like that, though. I don't know why. The secondary cased custom V12. It just kind of looks like it's. I don't know. For me, it's like streamlined with the whole car. The car seems to have a very smooth, lined look, you know? And for me, that kind of just matches a little bit. Hmm. Custom V12 it is. <laughs> Secondary cased. Alright. I'm sure you guys can do better than me. <laughs> so, I'm not sure that I'm the most stylish. <laughs> Secondary square vented arrow. That's cool. So yeah, you do get some vents with these. So not just the back plate, but the vents as well. And it looks like uh, the, uh, the, the, what are the quarter panels? They look like they change quite a little bit too. Actually a little bit. Just slightly. Like, see the shadow changing on that part right there? Huh. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... Yeah. There's nothing wrong right with Technology and budget That a big difference. I don't know why it changes it like that. Yeah. So. So. Hard to see on the black on black and the choices I made. That's okay. Top vent streamline. Life is hard when you can have anything. And top vent arrow. Secondary top vent arrow. Okay. So you got your vents, and then it goes to the uh, the vents themselves, like the uh, the I don't know what to call it, the back plate. If you go through them, and then there's ones without, and then it goes through ones with, and then your uh, your your main one and then your secondary color. So I think I'm going to go secondary. I think it kind of matches the secondary on secondary. It lets you see through a little bit better to our custom V12 in there. So I think I'm going to get that. All right. Yeah, lots of options in this one. Stock exhaust. Okay, so chrome exhaust. Oh. Yeah, this is where those lights get in the way in here, right? Sometimes, uh, we'll turn it this way. I hope you guys don't mind that side look there because that way we can see it a little bit better. Hopefully. Big bore exhaust, titanium big bore. Oh yeah. Chrome tip. Dual exit. Quadrant proximate exhaust, nice. I don't know if I'd pick that, but that's that's different. <laughs> triple octo, interesting. <laughs> Painted triple octo. Huh. Dual channel aperture. Ooh, chrome quadrant. I like that because it's got the emblem right in between. Titanium. Oh yeah, I see. Okay, so chrome and titanium. And then chrome sectioned. And then back to regular. So stock, it doesn't even have the emblem there. So you can actually add the emblem onto it. The XA21 emblem. Awesome. It's like a, what is that, like a wolf, I think. Yeah, kind of. Well, I think I'm definitely going to go with that. I like that. So now the question is, chrome, titanium, or chrome sectioned? Uh, chrome sectioned does go with our fins at the back and everything. You know, matches the, uh, the diffuser below it. It's a little bit race. I do like that. Sometimes it's good to have offset, and the chrome does go, but I think it's actually, I don't know. I'm not big on that choice. I wish they had like a, a couple others, maybe even this instead of chrome and like secondary in the black. But I think it just matches the choices I've made just a little bit better. Just don't run that thing in here. That's right. Yeah, he revs it right after that. 
<laughs> Don't listen to her. I own this place. <laughs> Who pays for your paycheck? That's right. I'll run it wherever I want to run it in here. <laughs> you know I pay for this place. <laughs> All right, so now we're into grills. Okay, so there's our grill. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit better for you. So it changes the logo a little you bit. Can think it, That's cool. I can do carbon it. trim, lines. So a rapid carbon roadster and graded and chrome exposed intercooler. Now some people are confused because the intercooler here is at the front of the car and the engine's at the back. But you know, to people that know, they would just pipe it through. Like, see, you can even see the piping right on the side here. And you would think, in an imaginary way, How that they would uh, they would have the piping that would reach all the way back here to the engine, right? So that's how that would work. Because some people think you can't have that intercooler in the front without an engine. Sure you can. <laughs> you just need piping. Combined chrome. And this is combined carbon grill. No, no uh, combined secondary. Yet again, I'd like to have a secondary. They don't get it to us. But you know, I think I like that. I like, I like the combined chrome. That's very blingy, very nice. But this combined car carbon grill is just a little bit ma better matching. You know, the dark on dark, dark on white, with the black there. So I think we'll go with that. Your cosmetics are on point. Excellent. All right, hood. Okay, so performance hood, vented hood, ram air hood. It's a big, big scoop on the front. Double vented, carbon vented, scooped hood, striped. So we got some stripe options on this. Huh. Carbon scoop, stripe. Making decisions is stressful. Kind of. Inverted, invert air connect, convection hood. Huh. Competition hood. Contention hood. And carbon contention. Wow, well, again, I'm impressed with the options. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? You know, there's lots of options. Well, I guess here all of them would be no like this contention hood kind of thing. And that is nice. Lots of events, lots of options, lots of details. Kind of thinking maybe a little bit more of a cleaner look, but not a completely clean look like this. Although that is nice. And even something like that's nice too. Some dual vents. But I'm thinking. Scoop to it. Hmm. I'm thinking about actually the inverter and connection. Convection. Bubbles or something? Although I do like a lot of these choices. It's hard to choose. Don't know why, but it just kind of, to me, matches it a little bit better. I've got the, I don't know, just the two and the two. And it goes back through. I don't know. The dual exhaust. I don't know. Invert air convection and it is. So 12,400 for that. Horn, we don't need a horn. No special options, no. And lights we already did. Mirrors. Mirrors. Really? I don't think I've seen too many cars with mirror options, like, ever. So, lightweight mirrors. Something like a carbon base, I guess. Secondary lightweight. So that's your full black Whatever secondary. You that's cool. And Technology optimum carbon. really much difference they're just painted so it's like to me it's just carbon with a black undercoat and full black well for me black because it's my secondary full secondary I should say and then lightweight just a little bit of both actually I kind of like that though because it gives me that black and white together hmm. yeah I think it will I did not plan on this one being white. I actually struggled. I really liked the uh, the picture that they showed us originally, the orange that it came out in. I thought that was pretty sharp, but I didn't want to be boring and do the same exact picture that they, they showed it to us with when they released it. But I thought that orange and black and, and some people's orange and reds and stuff is pretty sharp. Stock roof. So now we're at the roof. So we've got some little vortex up there. So let's see the little, little vortex generators. <laughs> it's a wind vortex generator. Oh, black secondary and carbon. It'd be nice if carbon actually made a difference in the game, you know, made you slightly lighter or something. So I think I'm going to go secondary. Yeah. Yeah, secondary. Secondary good. Vortex. Yes, she is looking good, isn't she? Skirts. Primary painted. Secondary painted. Carbon. Street skirts. Secondary street skirts. Carbon skirts. Oh yeah, I see. Now we got a little fin that just popped up there. 
carbon race skirts. Ooh, and that one. Let's zoom in here. How many cars you got? Doesn't like it when I use both controls at the same time. But if you guys can see right there, it's got the XA21 right there. So another one that has a little hidden de detail work on it. And then on the other side of it. So I think I'm going to go with that. I like that. Custom carbon race skirts. A little black would be nice, but that has the extra fin plus another emblem over here. See? I wonder why they don't give you that in some other color choices. Hmm. Another reason I'm happy I have it in black, black and white, because it'd be a shame if I wanted that in green or something like that, because then you would only have the option. If you wanted that logo, you only have the option for carbon. Yeah. Suspension. Lower, 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 lower. Competition for 4,400. Transmission, street transmission, all the way to race transmission, 40,000. Yeah, actually I'm getting happier and happier with this as it goes along. <laughs> Turbo tuning for 50,000. Stick to the speed limit. What did she I'm know? Joking. Oh yeah, yeah, funny joke, ha ha. <laughs> all right, windows, bye-bye. You know, huh. thinking about that interior. Let's see my engine out back. That's cool. No rush. No, don't mind my sunglasses. They're on at the moment, but that's cool. You can see right through there. But uh, I'm starting to think I'm going to keep this interior. I know maybe that's a little bit boring, but I kind of like it. I don't think um, I would change it much because it looks like it, it uh, goes really well with it. You guys can see that, you know, the grays and everything. Might change it up, but I don't see any reason really to make it red. It would just offset it, right? But sometimes it's good to offset it, as we've talked about before. Okay, so one last thing, which is the wheels. Now, I do like those stock wheels. They do have the emblem on them and the colors. So that's kind of cool. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm probably going to edit my looking around go there. There's a lot of different choices. You guys, uh, you know, there's a lot of really nice choices. And the stock is nice, too, like we've talked about. And I do like a lot of the emblems on it, but I don't know. I think I'm going to change this one up. And I think for the first time I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use a uh, chrome, and I'm going to use the Carbon S Racer, which is the top one there for 83605 not, not my favorite part, that price. <laughs> but I do like it. I do like it on there. And now there is some meaner looks I can give it like that, which I think is even nice. You know, being the, the carbon on the black and the white, that is nice. And it still has that shiny silver rim. But for some reason I like that. That's just a little bit brighter. But yet, uh, still keeps it very bling. It is a very expensive car, right? It's going to be a $3 million car almost when we're done here. So I think that's nice. It matches it. You can see through. It's blingy. It's got some black and yet some brightness. I like it. But I think that's the first time I've ever picked that car, um, that uh, tire choice, the rim choice. Okay, so now some just some quick things here. Um, we are going to does that, uh, give it the custom. Actually, that's not too bad. The white matches, obviously. The red just gives it a little bit of accent. Go like that. Bulletproof tires for 25,000. And tire smoke, white or black. Yeah, I think we'll just keep it a, give it a black. Why not? All right, guys. And my plate missing sack. Yeah. Now, respray-wise. I do like the car choices already. But there is that question of a pearlescence. In which case we'd have to... Oh, it is already. That's nice. A lot of cars come in classic, but this actually already comes with a uh, metallic paint job. So that's kind of nice. So that means I can just go right into pearlescent. Life is hard when you can have anything. Oh, sorry, your vehicle must have a metallic or curry spray. Uh, but it says I am metallic right now. <laughs> Rockstar. Again, again with the weird glitches and the ripoffs. So I've got to like paint it again, just to, ah, so dumb. Ah. So I've got to throw away some money here just to get what I've already got. <laughs> That's so dumb. So dumb sometimes. Well, we'll go through the car colors just to give you guys an idea of maybe some ideas of what you guys could do. So there's some browns and blues. If you can silvers. Do it, I can do it. Greens. Yellows. Actually, yellow and black, I bet you that'd make a mean yellow and black. Yeah. Brown, actually, that's very uh, sophisticated with some of the bronzes. And orange, as I was saying, I thought it looks sharp and orange black. The way they showed it to us, very nice. 
And even that sunrise orange, very nice. Yeah. How many cars you got? Looking like the car? wine red, very uh, rich guy. Yeah, lots of great choices, guys. Oh, and the silvers, yeah, awesome, awesome. Okay, so back to my white. So I have to waste some money, get green. Don't she look pretty? And back to ice white. So done. Just so I can now go into pearlescent. Okay, so on well, nice white it gives you a black pearlescent. And then, you know, on top of that, I might have just wasted that money for nothing because <laughs> I just wanted to see what the pearlescents look like, right? I'm not even sure I'm gonna pick one yet. To be honest, they don't really show up very well, but I'm seeing them on the secondary more than I am on the primary, right there on the fin and on the door. Yeah. But to be honest, I don't really see a lot of the changes very much, Dan. Not in this one, anyway. I do like how you can see that grill right in there, in the right lighting. You can see the shine of the grill. That's nice. Almost didn't notice it. Unlike others that are just open holes, that one's got like a little grill in there that you can see in the light. Well, as I suspected, I'm going to keep it just the way it was. So that was just money for nothing, but that's okay. It was cheap. Making decisions is stressful. But that's dumb that I had to do that. All right, well, let's take it out. Yeah. I need to work that. Right. No, I'm complete too. Right now, yeah. Yeah, I'm on vacation. Let him take a picture. <laughs> All right. Well, she's sporty, that's for sure. All right. Vehicles, uh, vehicle doors. Okay, let's have a look. All right guys, so there she is all done for now. Though I might change the colors in the future. Looks like it's a pretty easy car to change your colors with, but I like that. It's too bad they didn't give us any details in there. Maybe you guys can let me know if there's different hood choices, then maybe they give you some different uh, intercooler things that show up in there and things like that. But yeah, and that piping, as some people are saying, that wouldn't work, sure it would. It would just go right along in there, all the way to that. At least I would think. <laughs> but I am no mechanic, so I would not know. I like that. Let's see how low that tire is. Like, it's almost as low as it could possibly go with the lowered suspension. And it's got a nice uh, race car, Formula One kind of feel to it. When you look at that back end. You know? Let's see if we can get that angle. Ah. Ah. Stop that. There we go. Ah. That's apparently yeah, as good as it's going to get. <laughs> I like that. Very nice. Okay. Let's hop back inside. Oh, that nice burr. Yeah, nice burr. The XA21 logo there. Very nice. So you only get that with certain exhaust choices, I guess. Like. Got yeah, nice fat tires too. Yeah. She actually feels like she's got a, lot of, a little bit of weight to it. <laughs> I'm on a public session, so. Which is fine, but you never know if somebody's going to decide to do some target practice on you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nope, little scratch, that's okay. We can get it fixed later. All right. I like that, guys. That's nice. I, I am very happy with that. She's fast. So I, I was going to mention, I'm going to put some links in the description um, for the uh, times. Uh, as we mentioned before, I tend to like uh, uh, Bruffy 1322's testing. He does a great job. And uh, this car is actually um, testing very well. So to some people, this is the new track king as far as um, uh, tight turns, you know, handling those tracks, right? As far as top speed goes, it's 15 out of 30. So it's middle of the pack. 
Okay, but to me, that does make it competitive. You're not near, you know, you're not even close to last. And um, the cars are actually pretty tightly done these days. So, so it's actually very competitive that way. And in my opinion, we've talked about it, more races are won by, by driver, and usually, in my opinion, by handling, um, by uh, acceleration, you know, more often than top speed. There's not too many racetracks that top speed you can really get to. All right. I like it. Fits on the road really well. No real sliding. It's got a different feel, so I'm going to have to get used to it. But as you guys can see, I'm doing all this on purpose. I'm doing like the, the Formula One cars do, you know, back and forth. Can't remember why they do that. I think it keeps their tires warm. But she's got great uh, traction, if you ask me. It takes a lot of effort to get to, to spin out. Yeah. Once I stop doing that, she just starts taking off again. Oh. Oh, if he wasn't dead already, I'd kill him again. <laughs> How dare you hit my car like that? My new car, man. <laughs> so we're going to look at that suspended, that spoiler again. Do love that. I wish more cars had these kinds of things. In real life, there's also cars that have uh, vents that open like that too. I don't know if you guys have ever seen any of the uh, fancy Porsches and things like that. Um, you know, some of the higher end versions will have uh, vents much like the spoiler that automatically open at certain speeds and at certain uh, modes, whether you're using the, the blue um, uh, car key or the red car key, kind of thing, your race car key or not, right? So I think uh, that's cool. It'd be cool if Rockstar did more of that stuff and maybe some of the vents and stuff like that. Yeah, that's nice. All right, guys. Well, I hope you like that. That's our XA21 video. Um, I don't know. In the future, I might start doing some just to avoid because I tend to do longer videos. But I might do some other videos where I do using it, you know, like maybe customizing and buying and then separate it with another one that I actually use it and drive around with it. You know? We'll actually drive around, maybe take it around some races or something. Outrun some helicopters, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. Something of that nature. All right. Let's take her in. Get our windows fixed. Usually it fixes automatically as soon as you drive in. Ta da! Alright, everybody, that's the XA21 Ocelot. I'm very happy with that, as I've said a few times. <laughs> but, like I said, that's a great thing when you spend, you know, that kind of money and you feel good about it in the end. Yeah, very happy with that. Alright. Alright, everybody. Hope you like that. Hope you hope it helps you out with your own XA21 car choices and in deciding if you want one. I like it. I'm happy with it. Um, you know, is it the best car? It's hard to say. There's always arguments about the best car, but I think it's definitely one of the best cars, which is good at that price tag. All right. Take care, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Yeah. I'm the Missing Zuck. Thanks for watching. And if you're new, you should subscribe. It's uh, helpful. Yeah. And it's free. And it really helps us out. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you next time. Maybe we'll continue on this way. Cinematics much easier when uh, when you're not going at those speeds. <laughs> uh, if you actually take it easy, it's not too bad. Much easier to get used to it at these speeds than it is at the others. Woohoo!